a product of logarithms. So again, why we did all that homework last night was to make sure we can just remember when we have the sum of two logarithms, we can rewrite that as the product of x plus 1 of one single logarithm of x minus 2 equals ln of x. Huh? We can go and FOIL it, but before we go and get to that, yeah, now we can go and simplify this. So by applying FOIL, we get ln equals x squared um, minus x minus 2. All right? Then we go to our properties of logs, which you guys remember, hopefully, is log base x of a equals log base x of b, then a equals b. So we need to make sure, does ln and ln have the same base? Yeah, so therefore we don't need them. We just have x squared minus x minus 2 equals x. Now, we remember we're supposed to solve, so we've got to set this equal to 0. Oh, seriously? Is there another non-factorable one, or did I do this wrong? Is this the right problem? I don't know. x plus 1, x minus 2. Oh, it was subtract. Well, anyways, if you're going to multiply, you'd have to go and do what? How are you going to solve the rest of this? All right, can you factor that? No, so you can't factor it. So therefore, you have to go back to the quadratic formula. x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root. Huh? Um, guys, excuse me, excuse me. I don't know why I have to keep on going over this. I wrote the problem down wrong. Okay, that just means they're asking you to do something. I'll go over that, but we can still go ahead and solve this. This is just going to be one now. It's just going to be dealing with some real numbers. So there's not a problem with solving this problem as it is written. So therefore, let's just go ahead and get practice because from the last problem, I'm sure some of you still have some questions on uh, is that going to work. So opposite of b in this equation is going to be positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 2, negative 2 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 2, divided by 2 times a. x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 um, plus 8 divided by 2. x equals 2 plus or minus. Um, that's the square root of 12 divided by 2. x equals 2 plus or minus. The square root of 12 is going to be 2. Square root of 3 divided by 2. Now again, we need to look at this and be able to determine, are we going to have, again, some negative values again? Right? Yes? Yeah. And again, if we look at this, I'm not even going to calculate what they would be, or we can, we can approximate. Right? Because now we're going to be dealing with the square root of a number. Um, can I use your calculator real quick? So if I go ahead and use square root, so I do um, two, uh, 2 times the square root of 3, and I do uh, 2 minus, second answer, divided by 2. I'm going to have x is approximately uh, negative 0.73, 2. And then also if I, now I notice I have a negative number. If I plug in a negative value into this equation, am I going to have another negative value I'm going to have to take the ln of? Yeah, whatever, act, whatever if that's negative and I subtract 2, that next value is going to be negative. So therefore, I already knew, don't even need to know the rest of this value. I already know that this is going to be extraneous. Then the other one will do 2 times the square root of 3 plus 2 divided by 2. And my final answer uh, will be approximate 2.73. Okay. Now let's actually go to the real problem. And for those of you that are being